Welcome to this video. I will be showing you how to insert, remove and clean sclera lens. Firstly, wash your hands with soap before handling any lenses. Hygiene is very important. Next, dry your hands with lint-free paper towel. Make sure that it's completely dry. There are several ways to insert sclera lens. Here's the first method. Remove your glasses and place the sclera lens on the plunger. You want the concave side to be facing up. Fill the lens bowl with non-preserved saline. Using any other solutions containing preservatives may lead to chemical burns. Make sure that the bowl of the lens is filled to the brim. You should be able to see a dome shape. This will prevent air bubbles from forming. Bend your head over the mirror on the table. Make sure that your face is parallel to it. This is to prevent spillage of fluid while inserting the lens. Use your master hand to hold the plunger and pull down the bottom eyelid with your middle finger. And use either the middle or ring finger of your other hand to pull your upper eyelid. Insert the lens directly on the eye while looking at the mirror. Gently press the lens to your eye. Once the lens is inserted, retract the plunger away and slowly release your eyelid. The second method is called the finger tripod. For this method, put your thumb, index and middle finger together as shown. Your finger will be acting as the holder for the lens. Gently place the lens on your finger, making sure that it is well balanced. If the lens is too wet, it might be difficult to stay in place. Next, fill the lens with non-preserved saline, making sure that a dome can be seen. Use the ring finger of your master hand to pull down your bottom eyelid and use the middle or ring finger of your other hand to pull up the upper eyelid. Next, push the lens towards your eye gently. After inserting the lens, check if there are any bubbles formed. Bubble may cause discomfort and affect the vision. This is when there are no bubbles under the lens. And this is when there is a bubble under the lens. Please reinsert the lens when bubble is present. Before removing the lens, loosen the lens by looking up and push your bottom eyelid. And then look down and push down your upper eyelid. There are a few methods to removing the lens. Here's one of them. Pull your upper and lower eyelids and aim the suction pump at the 6 o'clock position of the lens. While pulling, press your bottom eyelid against the edge of the lens. Gently pull out the lens. If the suction pump is aimed at the center, you might hear a pop sound during removal and may cause discomfort. Scoop out the lens and proceed to clean the lens. Here is the second method to removing the lens. After loosening the lens, hold the top and bottom edge of the lens by pressing your eyelids in. Gently push your fingers together such that air pockets can seep in. Blink your eye and the lens should be able to pop up with ease. Hydrate your eyes with eye drops after removal. Next, I will show you how to clean the lens. Drip 1 to 2 drops of RGB lens cleaner on the lens and gently wrap the lens in either a circular motion or a to and fro motion. Make sure that bubbles are formed. And also remember to flip the lens over and use a circular motion for the convex side. Once you're done cleaning, rinse off with saline. Make sure that there are no soapy residue left. Use cases with large baskets to store the lens. Such cases will have R and L engraved on it. Open the basket and place the concave side of the lens down. Close the basket once you have placed the lens in. And then, fill the case with RGP soaking solution to the line indicated on the case. And last but not least, Remember to close the case tightly. Once a week, remember to do protein removal. After doing your daily cleaning of the lens, pop one enzyme tablet into the barrel case. Once the tablet is in the case, close it and let it soak for at least 6 hours. Remember to rinse the lens with saline before insertion. And that's it! 
Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to contact your local optometrist.